Hey guys, it is like minutes to five and it's Saturday and I'm on my way to the pantry. I'm gonna go out, um, get some coffee and then get some change at the local um, store. So yeah guys, I really like, I was really debating whether I wanted to go out this morning. But you know, I can always use some more food. So um, yeah guys, should I bring you with me? I mean, why not? <laughs> I'll bring you along with me. Um, right now, I have, I have these bags instead. I opted to, well, today I decided to bring these instead of that because um, I don't have enough space to fit a whole, whole lot of stuff. So I'm going to be a little um, picky, especially now that I know that a lot of the canned foods is not good. So I'm going to have an eye to be a little scrutin, like, you know, just be a little uh, further. <laughs> I just won't be picking up everything, put it that way. And um, I'm thinking maybe I'll take the bus back. Yeah, I'll probably take the bus back. I'm going to walk back, but I may take the bus back. I have money set aside for my transportation and um, just decided to scoop everything up just in case I'll need it. Um, it's really supposed to be spread out for the rest of the times that I want to go and move around, but I may take that leap and come right back on the um, bus, which will be a lot quicker. I'll get back quicker anyway. So if I bring you with me, then that means that I have to unload my bag. <laughs> okay guys, I'll be right back. I had to sneak out of the apartment because Ginger and Twinkie were like hype because I was waking up super early. But <laughs> I didn't wake up early to walk them. So I distracted them with food and water and then like got dressed in the dark <laughs> and then sneaked up. <clears throat> sneaked out. So they're in there like <laughs> but it's alright. We'll they'll get their walk when I get back. I'm trying to make this very quick. Because when you get early, when you come out early, you can get to the front of the line and that enables you to get in and out. So that's what I'm trying to do today. It's Saturday. I'm not trying to be there all day. Yeah guys. guys I'm out of the bus finally and now I'm walking towards the pantry I I don't know about you but I hate the iPhone maps I was on the bus and I'm waiting for the circle that shows me where I am to move so that I can see like how close I am to the place if I didn't get off in time I would have still been on the bus because the thing was still going super slow and it only catched up when I got off the bus so that's annoying but yeah guys I'm walking 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 I'm like maybe a few minutes away actually so yeah this is quite the adventure I'm taking you along with me I'm looking crazy out in these streets talking to this <laughs> camera but it's all right because um, they ain't talking to me so I gotta talk to somebody right <laughs> well anyway guys I will show you as soon as I'm there I brought reading material today because I'm not trying to drain my phone being on it. So, um, 
yeah <laughs> I'll read my book and wait hopefully I get out early hopefully <laughs> but um yeah guys that's the journey this morning I feel good I have my coffee I'm ready to take on the day yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to being out here super early like this but gotta get used to it somehow you know it's free food so I think I'm like a block away. I'm a block away right now. Oh, this is so nice. These beautiful sunflowers. Let me show you. Ooh. I love sunflowers. So pretty. Wow. Yes. I've never heard. You should Google her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do that when I leave. Later. Have a great day. Hey guys, so the time is 10 o'clock on the dot. I'm back home. I had to rush to the bathroom because I drank some coffee on the way there and I had to hold my pee the whole time so I wouldn't miss my place on the line. And of course, after I got my bags, like there was no way I could stop anywhere. <laughs> So yes, I'm back home. I'm sweating because I wore a hoodie, thinking that it was going to be a little chilly this morning, which it kind of was, but I'm glad that I brought it anyway. I got lots of food. Thank you, Jesus. There were some hiccups along the way. So when I got the bags, mind you, I paid my way to get to the pantry. When I got my bags, I realized how heavy it was getting, so I was like, oh my gosh, in my mind I'm thinking, oh my goodness. This is gonna be a whole lot. Let me just come into the living room so I could sit down. <laughs> so I was feeling how the bags were so heavy and today I decided to leave my granny cart because I knew in my mind that I was not gonna be bringing a whole lot of food. So I knew I wasn't gonna be bringing the granny cart because in my mind I'm thinking, okay, you don't need that, that much food, but you don't need a whole lot of stuff. So I brought a few bags with me they were sturdy, but I was starting to feel how heavy it was. And I didn't, I specifically brought enough money to just get there. And something in my mind <laughs> told me, bring, it, bring more than enough money because you're going to need it. Well, I didn't. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I can't possibly walk all the way home with these bags. That's a whole hour walk. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I try to, you know, get the bags on my, my shoulder in a way that it doesn't seem so heavy. I kind of like equal it out between the three bags that I had and um, it still was too heavy. So I'm thinking, all right, Lord, please grant me mercy so that I can still take the bus. Now, I don't normally do this. I used to do this a lot in high school when I didn't have my Metro car, but um, I sat on the bus at the bus and I'm thinking oh my gosh like this is so embarrassing I don't have money to get on the bus um, so I'm going to have to ask the driver so I'm just praying like God what am I gonna do so quickly he gave me the thought you know what you have a dollar in your bag your bag go get some change for that dollar and come back on the bus stop and wait on the bus stop and I'm praying, okay, God, give me mercy, give me grace, God, with this person, favor, Lord, please, because I can't possibly walk home like this. So I went to get change, came back, sat on uh, at the bus stop. The bus came shortly after, 
and um, I'm loading up, you know, the bags on the, the line, and I finally get to the driver up top, and I'm like, sorry, sir, I know this is so, um, this, you know, this is very, this is very embarrassing, but I only have a dollar, and the whole time he's like, he's pointing to the, the cash, the um, change, the coin slot, so I said, well, I only have a dollar, and he, he just kept pointing, so I said, okay. Um, I put it in and I, I said, um, can I get a transfer? So he quickly popped it up and you know, telling me, hurry up, go back, go, go sit down. So I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. You are the best. You are the real MPV. Thank you so much. <laughs> so then I get on the bus, we ride, and then I have to get off and connect to a different bus. Um, so I walk down, I walk around looking for the bus because I'm not really familiar with that certain area. So I have, I find the bus that I am supposed to get on after like maybe five minutes of going the wrong direction and coming back. So um, the bus comes and um, I, I get on, get up and I'm like looking for my transfer. I'm looking all over the place, looking where I put it, where I know I put it in my, my bag. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Did I mistakenly like drop it on the floor did someone like quickly come by me and like whoop, whip it out in the bag or something like what could have happened to the transfer that quickly so i'm like oh my gosh unbelievable this is very embarrassing so i get to the top of the thing i get to the bus driver and i'm like sir i am so sorry i just lost my transfer card and he looks at me and i'm like sir i'm sorry i'm really sorry could i still get on the bus because I'm thinking maybe he's asking me, you know, he's thinking that, well, maybe you should ask me the question instead of just telling me the situation. So I said, well, could I please load, uh, board the bus? And he's like, well, I can't tell you whether you can get on or not. Yes, you can. You to, like I said, um, sir, I mean, you're the bus driver. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to overstep the boundaries here, but... I'm just asking. I'm asking you. You're the bus driver. I'm asking if I can still board the, the bus. And he still gives me the same answer like, well, I can't tell you whether or not you can get on here. You know, I can't. And I'm like, you, in my mind, I'm like, you are so arrogant. Like, you see me with three bags, three large bags, and I'm telling you that I lost, I misplaced my transfer. And you're going to tell me you're going to, you know, you don't have any mercy, any type of mercy on your heart. Like, seriously, what is one lost transfer to, like, the billions of people that you commute every single day? Like, sir, seriously? Like, the importance of mercy is so, come on, it, it's not, like, it's not, like, I, I'm, I'm amazed. Like, what is one, one, one mercy? How much does it cost to have mercy on one person? Two seventy-five, two dollars and seventy-five cents. Come on. So I, I said, um, you know what? I respect that, sir. Thank you so much. And I used my power of choice that he basically told me that I have. And I went, I took myself right to the back of the bus. And I'm like thinking to myself, unbelievable. So right away, I put myself down. And I'm still looking for the transfer. Still looking for the transfer. Can't find the transfer at all. So I'm like, maybe I dropped it somewhere. I don't understand how, but perhaps I did. So after a while, I'm like, you know what, Desiree, you just need to relax, calm down. You're already on the bus. He can't just tell you, get off, get off. Like, <laughs> tell you, get out the back door, you know? So I'm like, just relax, Desiree. Just relax, accept the mercy that you've been given, and just relax. So I finally got off the bus, walked down, and I'm home. <laughs> so yeah, after all of that, I'm home, thank God, and I have all of my groceries, but first I'm going to walk the girls because already Ginger was starting to get upset. She's real, she real pissed at me. Like, I didn't give her a walk last night, and she's been holding it, and I have to give her a walk now. So, I'm going to be right back with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm all done walking the girls, and now I'm loading things that I got today I'm going to show you of course so today they were very very healthy like of course oh my life <laughs> today they um, were giving up a lot of like healthy foods healthy fresh stuff which is great because this week I've been thinking about eating better and like just incorporating more fresh vegetables on um, the set of canned vegetables all the time and more like 
clean stuff. So uh, let me show you what I got. So one thing is coconut juice. Coconut juice. Coconut, I thought this was coconut water. Uh, organic protein almond milk. Oh, they gave me some snacks. Apples. I've got to clean these. I got this drinkable soup. Uh, organic and vegan broccoli and cauliflower. I've never heard of this before. Um, this is very different. Never considered drinking soup, but hey, I guess that's an alternative, right? <laughs> More. Ooh. This is black premium alkaline water. I've never seen this before. I thought that maybe the water looked black-ish because of the bottle. Maybe the bottle tint was black, but no, the bottle tint is clear and <laughs> what's inside of there is the premium alkaline water. So I'll see. I don't know. Never tried it before. Ooh, salad dressing. Buttermilk cracked peppercorn dressing. Never tried that, but I will. Um, this is coconut water. I'm gonna try this out. I like I've tried coconut water before and did not really like it, but it is healthy, so I'm going to try to just suck it up and enjoy the taste anyway. I know canned goods are not the best, but they were giving it out, and I didn't want to just deny food, you know. <laughs> Until I'm, you know, I get these things at the supermarket. I will accept anything free and not complain about it for now. Um, they were giving out applesauce, diced tomatoes, spaghetti sauce. Um, they were giving out potatoes, sweet potatoes, right? These are sweet potatoes. Are they sweet or are they regular? I already have some potatoes in the refrigerator that I have not used yet. Oh, and here's another one. I have not used it yet, so I definitely have a reason to now. Whew. More stuff, guys. More stuff. Raisin Bran. I love Raisin Bran. Yes. Whole grain of Pepperidge Farm bread. I love whole grain bread. They were giving out sunflower seeds. Hey. <laughs> I used to eat sunflower seeds a whole lot in high school, every single day actually. I'll be eating sunflower seeds like every day. I'll have like a piece of paper on the side and spit it and put it on the side. Whole grain, um, medium shells. They put this in my bag and I don't have kids so... Ooh, Sloppy Joe, uh, sweet and smoky Sloppy Joe. I have a whole bag of fresh green peas green beans and I'm so happy and excited about that because I um this is like one of the first times that I've seen them serve fresh stuff um in addition to the apples and the, the potatoes very happy about that I got my tuna which I love you already know I love tuna today look look okay look are you here like look seriously you got to get a good look at this they were giving out catfish fillets. Like, dude. Dude! <laughs> I'm so happy about that because I've been thinking about seafood and, um, you know, didn't have it. But now I do, and that was free. That was free. I can freeze that and you take it out when I need it. Hey! Maybe I'll bread it. Um, yeah, that sounds great. And I have a whole bag full of onions. Bag of onions. So, yep, that is everything, everything, everything. Whew. As I always say, guys, don't despise the food pantry because I got all of these things. This is not even everything, but that stuff and more for free. <laughs> all I needed to do was get my behind out of bed early and be there online. I only stood there for like maybe half an hour until the line started moving. Get my bags together, accept the free stuff, and keep it going. <laughs> so now it is 10, almost 10.30. Wow, time is flying. 10.30 and I can pretty much do whatever I want for the rest of the day. 
I was thinking about going to the Curl Fest with some of my friends. Not sure. I'll tell you later. But um, yeah, so right now I what I want to do is put these things away, organize the refrigerator, and start cleaning up this place because it's been about two weeks since I've actually cleaned the floors like with bleach <laughs> instead of just sweeping it. So I'm going to do that and then chill, you know, grab something to eat. I should eat something first. I'm going to eat something first and then I'm um, drink something. Hello. I have not had my water intake because I'm thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't drink so much water today because I'm going to be out there. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to get to all of that and I'm going to come right back and we're going to talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs>